Being an Arizona girl, I'm obsessed with cactus everything. That's why today I am beyond thrilled to be making these adorable cactus cookies with Jen Johns of Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio. Jen, I am so excited you're here. I'm so excited to be here. Are you kidding? Can I just fangirl <laughs> for a minute? This woman has 1.5 million subscribers and she is a woman after my own heart. I just love everything you've created from the leopard Lisa Frank cake to fruity pebbles ice cream cones and the Oreo mug cakes. I mean, we have so much in common. We do, we're gonna be like totally BFFs. Besties. <laughs> All right, so I know that we're having this awesome cookie party today Yay. and we're making sombrero cookies on your channel. Yep. But since I'm an Arizona girl, I would love your help with making cactus cookies. You need to make a saguaro. That's, those are the arms of the saguaro. You ready? Ready. Let's get started. So we're going to take a sugar cookie mix, uh -huh. and we've got half a cup of butter. Okay. And an egg. I'll go ahead and crack that for us. And then we're also going to need three tablespoons of flour that we're going to add in. So the flour is going to thicken the mixture so that when the cookies are baked, they don't spread so all over your pan and become like one big giant cookie. So that's kind of one of the keys to keeping the shape of the cookie. True. All right, so I want to know more about your channel because <laughs> I almost stayed up till this morning just getting hypnotized by all of your videos. So we're in Canada and we live in the Rocky Mountains, which is where the cardio component of the channel comes uh -huh. in. Um, so we like to go hiking and backpack baking in the Rocky Mountains, which is where the Oreo mug cakes were filmed. I love that. I never know when to add the food coloring. If you're adding it into the liquid, it okay. makes it a little bit easier because it's already pre-mixed. It'll be, it'll be Oh, so then there's smoother. not like clumps of color? Yeah. And you don't end up with any like junk, like big chunks of the white. Yeah. Not mixed. Okay. So Jen, what was the inspiration behind your channel? We were running a home-based bakery, and my husband got a new video camera, and he thought, hey, you're making this stuff, let me film you making it, and he put it on this thing called YouTube at the time, <laughs> and I didn't know what it was, and ta-da, here we are. And here we are. <laughs> All right, well, this looks like it's coming together. Okay, so we can go ahead and roll it out? Yeah, definitely. It came together really nice. I love that hack with using that cookie mix. It's a good cheat. I wouldn't do that if I was going to serve it to the queen, but <laughs> bake sales or something like that, it's totally perfect yeah. for that kind of a cheat. Now, how thick do we want to roll this out to, Jen? Um, about a little bit more, I would think. Okay. Probably like a quarter of an inch. All right. Well, I just love this little cactus cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. It's adorable. All right. Well, I'll start cutting them out. So we're going to take them and carefully remove them. You've got lots of flour underneath, so that's going to be like that's going to be really helpful. Yeah, you don't want to break an arm. Yeah, <laughs> a cactus arm. Is that what they're called? <laughs> yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. I don't. We don't have a lot of cacti in uh, Canada. So Brandy, now we're going to put these into the fridge or the freezer. If you've got extra time, you can um, pop them into the fridge, let them sit for about half an hour in the freezer for like 10 to 12 minutes. Great. Freeze them nice and solid so they don't spread when you're baking. Awesome, and then after that, we'll bake them in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes or until they just start to set up. It's really important that you let them cool completely. Right. Or your icing will up oh, all over the place. We don't want that. So we're going, yeah. So we're going to take like a thicker icing here and we're just going to outline around the outside of the cactus. And then I'm just going to, this. the flooding consistency is a little bit uh, thinner. And so I'm just going to kind of fill in this gap here. And then you can take like a toothpick or like a scribe tool in order to match everything right up to the outside. Got it. So we lined it, now we're filling it, and then we can just kind of use a little knife to make it smooth. And these will take, like your royal icing will take a little while to dry, so you want okay. to leave it for like an hour or two. Oh, wow. Man, I don't, if like, don't, I don't want, like waiting. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to have your icing below, like suck up your icing on top. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add like some definition. What do you call that part Making of Making kind of 3D. Oh, yeah. okay. So we want to kind of add the spines to the cacti. The spines. Or like okay. the ridges. I mean, it gives it a little personal. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just going to start at the top okay. and have a steady squeeze and bring it all the way down. Wow. And then kind of touch it. And if you just let it like kind of hang here, uh -huh. so it's like I'm not going right on top of the cookie itself. I'm just kind of laying coaxing, it down. Yeah, yeah. Coaxing the icing where I want it to go. So okay. if you want to sprinkle, I'll hold the cookie. Okay. Because we want to do this step before the icing dries. 
Oh, yeah. Just so that it catches the sprinkles there. Oh my gosh, I love that. And I love that we used green cookie dough, mm -hmm. green frosting, <laughs> green sanding sugar, and it's just adding a lot of depth to yeah, the cookie. Yeah, totally. And then we want to have some come up the side as well here. And because you're a pro, we have some that are already set up. Them out. Because before you add the fun little blossoms, you want to let them dry in. for. Okay. So like with the with the glitter, you don't we don't have to let them dry for too long. So I'm just taking this lovely icing, and I'm just going to steady squeeze there, and then kind of stop pulling or stop squeezing, and then pull towards the center. So squeeze, stop pulling, and then pull. Oh, cute! So kind of like a little X. Yeah. And okay. then a nice pop of color in the center. Go. Oh my gosh, that is so cute! They are adorable. All right, you want to finish decorating these? Yeah, that's for sure. Awesome. Oh my goodness, Jen, these cactus cookies look amazing. They do. We did a really good job. <laughs> uh, you did a really good job, and no. I love the personality that each of the cookies have. Like this one has all the water week. blossoms, the flowers. And you know, I'm all about presentation, so I feel like at a party, I would put these little babies in a little terracotta pot. I love it. With like sprinkles or something, or give them away as party gifts. It'd be so cute. Oh, guys. Wedding favor. <laughs> that is such a good idea. Oh, I know you guys are gonna love this video, and I wanna see your photos, post them on Instagram, tag me, tag Jen, and head over to her channel, Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio, so you can see, da, 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 da. oh my God, these sombrero, cookies, and plus there's a surprise inside. They're actually pinata cookies. <laughs> Jen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yes. It's been lovely. And I love how we pretty much have everything you need for a little fiesta. Don't forget to like this video, leave us a comment below, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, my.